I like physical exercise. I actually like sports in general. I really like snowboarding and playing soccer too. Fortunately during my career I have one more or less everything, so I need to enjoy it to have the right motivation. I'm lucky because I don't feel too much pressure it's only in the last hour before the race, and even then it's good, positive pressure. How do Ferrari know what I'm doing next year, when I don't know what I'm doing next week? I would have probably stolen cars it would have given me the same adrenaline rush as racing. I don't like being famous it is like a prison and driving for Ferrari would make it far worse. The tragic incident of Luis Salam reminds us that our sport, our passion, is dangerous. We know it but, in a way, we don't think about it. I feel 100% Yamaha rider in my heart. I had a long career and raced with several factory bikes. But the highlight of my career is undoubtedly with Yamaha. Riding a race bike is an art, a thing that you do because you feel something inside. It is a big problem and so I don't know for sure if I say yes or no to Ferrari. Our sport is dangerous. We risk the life out there, so we need to stay calm and focused and leave all the rest out when with a third team. I'm very happy because I won a lot. I've won races and lived in a world that just gave me joy, so I remember it very positively. Giving yourself threads doesn't mean you don't believe in yourself in my opinion. Maybe if Graziano make another work, or another sport, I wouldn't have had this passion, to be a writer. Maybe the bike is more dangerous, but the passion for the car for me is second to the bike. It's a big, big advantage because understanding what changes we might make takes time, and it takes time to work out settings and to understand everything about the new machine. It is dangerous and unbelievably fast and entirely different from the kind of track I am used to racing on. I'm Valentino Rossi, and I want to be a person, not an icon. <laughs>